Welcome Libra. Welcome to Vixen Tarot. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to this video thumbs up. And let's get started with your reading. You know, one of the first readings I have done in months. If you're new to the channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the like button, comment below, say hello, and subscribe. I am so nervous because I haven't done a reading in over like four or five months. I've been taking this time to reflect on life in general. I'm going to use the archetype cards to start this reading. And I recently just moved and it was just a lot. And it still is a lot, but I'm wanting to get back into doing tarot. I feel like I was at my most inner, most genuine self when I was doing tarot. So that's what I want to do. But first, let me just take a minute. Meditate, the ancestor spirit guys. Please give me the most uh, correct and accurate messages for Libra Sun Moon Rising, June 2022. I hope everyone is blessed and let's get started with this reading. Spirit guys, ancestors, divine, God, angels, please give me the best accurate and concise messages for Libra coming into June 2022. What messages do you have for my Libra Suns coming into June? So a lot of orange and red to be wearing that a lot or seeing it. And more messages. Fully wrote. Damn, it's just beating me in my face. Something coming, hitting you in the face. Straight in the face. One more. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have Rescuer. I feel like this is your energy, naturally. Most Libras, I know, especially if you're a female, you're very intuitive, very empathetic. You care about other people's emotions. You try your hardest to respect other people's emotions and boundaries. And when someone that you love asks you to help them, you will do anything you can to make sure you can help them. And that's just one of the greatest things about Libra, which is why the rescue boat thing is in the heart, because you tend to go off your emotions and your heart versus what's best for you yeah and with the camera in reverse that means your shadow side it says relying on luck rather than hard work you could take a gamble with your life sometimes because you are such one of those people that likes to help others you risk your own safety your own stability to help others and you take a gamble with your life sometimes because you want to save people yep you or someone else you know could be an addict and you just want to save them or help them in any way you can helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior someone that just very addicted to something this could have to be drugs it could be addicted to like anything even gambling but yeah you are a good samaritan libra like you are a good person if no one told you this i just want to tell you that you are a good person you are a good Samaritan. You always try to help others in need, especially if you love or care about other people. You try your hardest to do anything you can to help someone else. And this is one of the best things about you. You are a loving, giving person. And in 2022, it's really rare that you come across these type of individuals, these loving people, very warm-hearted, humanitarian kind of people. And you have Savage Horror. Highlights your fear of self-empowerment. It will bring to your life. And I feel like for some of you guys, self-sabotage yourself a lot. Like, you guys will count yourself out before you even give it a chance. We are saying this month, try to take a risk on new opportunities. Try to do things and see things differently as much as you can, Libra. Don't sabotage yourself before you even give it a try. I feel like this thief here, you're thieving yourself of good opportunities. Like, you're stopping yourself from advancing to the level that you want to get. Because you feel like you're not good enough or you don't have the right tools. Spirit said, ask them ask god people will really lead you to the right path this god will never lead you in the wrong path let me just say that i'm a very big believer in god and spirit and the divine and the universe and i just feel like if you put your mind to something there's nothing you can do like i said leo you're a leader i said leo could be dealing with the leo but you are a lover you are a good samaritan and i just need to let you know that all right um I'm going to use the Tarot of the Divine for your tarot reading. I'm going to get into it. Spirit guys, Divine, what are some messages for June 2022 for my Libra Sun Moon Rising? What are some messages Libras need to know during this time, June 2022? Spirit guys, ancestors, what are some messages for my Libras that they need to know during this time? Recent past, let's start with that. A lot of turnover, a lot of things turning around in June 
-hmm. I feel like this is a progressive month for pretty much anyone. We just got out of Mercury with retrograde, so that's pretty much just been going on. The lover's card came out in the fool at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, spirit wants you to take a leap of faith, start from scratch. Whatever new idea or something that you've been wanting to pursue for a long time, jump off the ledge and do it. Like, stop doubting yourself. You always doubt yourself. It's very much you stop crying over what happened in the past. Everything happens for a reason. You are a star. You could just be dealing with Aquarius or having your chart. It's very much you to recognize that you are a star. You were brought here for a reason. You're going down this path for a reason. They want you with the Taurus Hierophant cards to commit to yourself is what I'm hearing. If you're dealing with the Taurus, the commitment could be in the future. But this is most here giving me the energy of you committing to yourself, committing to your dream. But you do have the Lovers card, Gemini's energy here. So let me clarify. Why is the Lovers card here for my Libra? It's June 2022. Why is the Lovers card here? Whoa, some of you guys could be getting an offer from someone. It could be a Gemini or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces individual. But I see you guys may not accepting this offer. This could have been something from the past that done you dirty. But you're realizing your self worth and realizing you could do better than them. So you're ending that. What's the present energy for my Libras? June 2022. Present energy for my Libras. June 2022. Present energy for my Libras. June 2022. One more. June 2022. Yeah, like I said, you're walking away and denying an uh, offer for someone. And you're, like I said, the Queen of Pentacles here. You're focused on your stability. You're focused on your money, the pentacle, the green. What can advance your career at this time? You're not, you're leaving out anything in the cold that does not serve that purpose, does not fit into your purpose, does not align. You're letting it go. Because you're working hard, like I said, on this new thing that Spirit wants you to do. Because you're tired of feeling heartbroken. You're tired of feeling unstable. You're tired of feeling unfulfilled. It's time to pack it up. Future energy for my Libras, June 2022. Your future energy for my Libras. Wow, this person is stalking you. Future energy for my Libras. Yep. Wow, double confirmation, two aces. I'm gonna just leave that right there. The future energy, I see this person that you said no to is stalking you, watching on fake pages, social media, other people that you guys have in common or know, social media. And they're mad because you caught on to the sneaky stuff that they was doing. Whatever they was hidden and doing in the shadows, you caught up. And now, with the Six of Swords reversed, it's hard for this person to move on from you. They don't want to move on from you. They want to join your new beginning. But you said, hell no. Seven of Wands here. I work too hard for this. You're not going to ruin this for me. I do not blame you, Libra. And the two last cards for the future, you got the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning I've been telling you about after you take your chance. And the clarity, the last card you got is the Ace of Swords. Two Aces. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. This is double confirmation. Clarity that you need to go after that new beginning. It would bring you nothing but happiness. Beautiful reading, Libra. Alright, I'm going to end this reading with the Queen of the Moon Oracle. If you guys want a reading from me, email me below. Email me below. I think I'm just going to do my full readings and then I do my full readings or I do regular oracle readings as well I'm gonna have the price list below but you want a reading with me you can contact me email me everything's in the description box don't forget to subscribe hit that bell so you can know when I post which is daily I'm gonna try to upload daily and this channel is a new fresh start for me for the new year Ooh, okay. <laughs> funny the new new me new year new got the beginnings card definitely walking into that new cycle that new door in your life I'm proud of you you're letting this sex, nothing but lustful energy go. The extremes that this person put you through. Oh my god. And the only thing this person had was BDE. They got the BDE energy. That's pretty much it. It was a vibe while it lasted. But yeah, this person made you pleasure. They gave you a lot of pleasure. But when it, you needed a lot of patience. And you don't need to deal with someone. You could just work on yourself. Spirit is telling you work on yourself with this new beginning. And then see how the car is just smacking me in my head. Yep. Spirit wants you to be gratitude. 
be grateful for everything that you have right now. I think we're going to you can definitely set up boundaries with these people, this person. Because once they see this new beginning, they're going to think they can try to ride the wave that everyone could bring you. Everyone coming. Let me just say that. Yep. So you might feel like you're in the darkness right now, but things is going to change. You just got to give it time. What's the point? You put the work in. You feel this void here. Because I feel like once you left this person already and it gave you a void, but the only thing this pleasure person do was give you this pleasure. Like, you need to accept that. Just accept it, wow. The last card is the path card. Spirit wants you to follow the path, Libra. Only you know what your path is. Everyone knows what they're, not everyone, but if you don't know, you're going to find out. That's the point. In the bottom of the card, spirit, spirit saying surrender. Surrender to spirit. Alright, Libra, if you like this reading, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell. All the information you need to know is in the description box below. Welcome back to Vixen Tarot, and I'll see you guys next reading. Peace.